So here we are, we're at Banfield. Um, we arrived nice and early this morning. Um, it's track day today. Um, for those of you who haven't done a track day before, this is um, a great, great, great experience that well worth doing. Um, to get in, to get a place in the pits, just sort of behind me over here. I'll show you the pits. There's the pits here. We'll go for a walk around the pits soon. But um, to get into the pits, you need to arrive nice and early. The gates here open at um, 7:30 in the morning, so. We were here nice and early so we could get into the get into the pits and save some spots for some friends that are also coming. Um, once you arrive, there's um, it's really just a matter of unpacking your bike, getting your bike organised into the pits there, and then off to off to the other side, off to the office over here. Um, the office opens at eight o'clock in this particular circumstance. It's it's different depending on the day that you do and who's running it. Uh, this one, there's no scrutineering for the bikes and there's no helmet checks or gear checks. But um, a lot of track days do have helmet and gear checks. Um, um, but you know, here they just expect you to have the right gear. Um, and you get registered, yeah. So you just go in there, you find, sign and sign some indemnity forms. That's pretty standard practice. Um, it usually takes you half an hour or so to do that because it's usually a line of people, of course. Um, and that's the horrible stuff done. That's the schooly kind of bit done. Once you've finished that bit, the rest of it's all fun. So uh, what we're going to do now, anyway, we'll have a bit of a walk around the pits and I'll show you guys how are you man yeah, good. yeah so when you come to this sort of thing there's kind of every kind of person you could ever think of that could possibly ride a bike riding bikes yeah. here it's a really really great day yeah. it's going to be sunny it's going to be fast eh? yeah yeah so Manfield compared to other tracks like maybe um I don't know, Eastern Creek or Phillip Island or something like that. This is pretty small, but it's, it's still a good little track and it's good fun, you know. We'll have to get around some of the other tracks up and down the country and, and uh, show some of those off as well, I think. This is the other good thing about turning up early is you get plenty of time to relax in the morning before you have to kind of rush, you don't have to get here and rush into your leathers, which is nice. So we're in the riding in the well not a fast group, we're riding in the a relatively slow group today which will be um oh, be good fun. Not too much stress. So I won't have to jump on straight away. I think they have a rider briefing at nine o'clock. I'll 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 bring the camera along when we have the rider briefing and we'll we'll film that as well so you can see what happens at a rider briefing. It's a rider briefing now. So on the day that I went out, obviously there was a lot of problems with wind and wind noise in the microphones. Um, I didn't really have a way to solve that at the time. So, uh, and, and unfortunately I had problems with my cameras as well. So um, I didn't get the, the, the front camera that I was using at that time was playing up and it failed a couple of times and I didn't get much front footage at all. So um, there are a few limitations there, but uh, it's how it goes sometimes. Um, Anyway, one of the things that I should have mentioned is that uh, with the track days, um, if you book a track day and you plan to go out and do a track day, if the weather packs a sand on you and it rains, um, you don't always get a refund. So uh, it depends a little bit on the on who you book with and, and how the days run. But typically what happens is that a se sessions continue regardless of rain. And I've been out at Eastern Creek, for example, uh, racing. Um, and it's it's rained, you know. Uh, it was rained like halfway through the day, and um, you have to ride in the rain. And my second track day, luckily this track day at Manfield it was dry, but my second track day at Manfield I wasn't so lucky. I had uh, one one dry session, and all the other sessions were all wet. It was all all wet weather stuff. So um, so you need to be prepared for that, you know, because this is stuff that you can't plan for, and it's a bit unfortunate when it happens. I took wet weather gear with me, and I just rode in the rain. And, one of the advantages with the rain actually was that not many people went out on the track so you've got a pretty good track uh, to play with by yourself uh, or pretty much almost to yourself if it does rain provided you're prepared to actually go out and have a ride in the rain and it's um, it's a pretty good experience even in the rain it was it was still good um, better in some ways because yeah there were less people on the track 
So one of the other things is that the groups get booked up pretty quickly. So often what you'll find is that if you're writing in not so much the beginner group, but if you're writing in any of the other groups aside from the very top fastest group, um, often there are writers that are much faster in those groups that um, really probably don't belong in those groups, but they go in those groups because they simply couldn't get a booking in the fast group that they wanted to be in. So you will find that there's um, people that overestimate their ability and people that definitely underestimate their ability on the track. <laughs> depending on the day but generally what will happen is um, if you've underestimated your ability and you think you're faster than what you are and you get out on the track and you're too slow and you're causing problems on the track for other riders uh, generally you'll get flag marshaled and they'll try and move you into another group but there's no guarantee that they can move you into another group um, and likewise if you go out there and you find that you're faster than the other people that you're riding with then um, you can uh, you can ask to be moved into another group and provided there's space on another group they will try and accommodate that and move you into another group which is always good tire pressures are another thing you need to be aware of tire pressures when you're riding on the track because you're uh, putting a lot of power down and it's pretty consistent it's it's pretty different to riding on the road you need to um, uh, check what your tire pressures need to be there's generally people on the track that can tell you what sort of tire pressures you should be running but uh, generally it's considerably less than um, than what you would typically ride with on the road and and often the, the, the tire pressures are so low that when you first go out it, it kind of unsettles the bike a little bit until you've done a couple of rounds on the track and once this warmth is in the tires then you find that the then you can start to pick the pace up now if you don't do this you can end up with all sorts of disasters and in fact I got high sided at the track because I I simply forgot to change my tire pressures and I just hammered the bike too hard and um, and ended up basically kind of making the tire kind of semi-mount and it just chucked me off which was kind of frustrating so you've got to watch your tire pressures it's really important on the track don't treat it as a road tire pressure it won't be appropriate at all cameras can you record on the track some tracks you can some tracks you can't it does it does depend a little bit on the situation and who's running it um, I've been lucky on the last few ones I've done I've been able to take my cameras on and, and uh, there was never an issue when I used to ride Eastern Creek um, I can't remember who used to run the sessions out there but when I was riding Eastern Creek they wouldn't allow you to um, to do that at all um, do you need race fairings no you don't have to have race fairings unless you're doing proper professional race days you don't need race fairings and you don't need to lock wire things and all that these are just kind of fun days for people who are enthusiasts on their motorbikes and want to sort of test the limits of their bikes in a safe environment so they're perfect if you you know you can take a road bike out there provided your bike's up to spec you'll be able to go out you'll be able to race you'll be able to have some fun um, you don't need race fairings I mean it's obviously it's ideal if you do and it's ideal if you have slicks because you can you can ride faster and you don't worry so much but but you can take your road bike out and you can have fun on your road bike and that's uh, you know that's what the day's all about.